It's the same. My name is AC Kokui. Welcome back to my channel. I have a new video for you today. I am going to be showing you my wedding look. Get ready with me. Um, I'm mostly just going to show the makeup look. So watch how it goes. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that jazz. Now let's get into it. Okay. Now I'm telling you guys to like and subscribe and all that. I'm not great with voiceovers, but we'll, we'll work it out. <laughs> ah, look, a beauty. All right, you guys. So I'm going to be using the Master Prime Primer from Maybelline. That is the only product I end up showing you what I actually use. I don't know why, but I just forgot to do that. Um, I just put it on a brush and I brush it into my skin. I started doing that recently and it works so much better for me. My makeup stays on so much better. Also, excuse all the trucks and cars you're going to hear in the background. I live right by the street side, so you're going to hear a lot of it. So I always start with my eyebrows first. Right now I'm just using a spoolie to brush them up and then I go in and fill them. And um, from there, I kind of outline, outline them <laughs> with my concealer from Too Faced. So with this motion here, I like to use the pencil to underline it and then I like to brush it up so it's not too dark and not too defined. I use the concealer to really do the defining. Now before I go in with the concealer, I like to use my Laura Mercier powder just to take up all the oil off my face and do that before I really go in with my eyebrows. I like to then bring the concealer all the way down from where I just put it under my eyebrows to my lid um, so I can also kind of set it with the concealer. So then I go in with the color that kind of matches my skin color but is a little bit lighter to do the top of my eyebrow. This way it's still defined, but it's easier to blend out. So I literally just splattered that into my eye, but I'm using the Pro Conceal LA Girl Concealer in the color Fawn under my eye. Um, it's a very light color on me, but I do that so it brightens up my under eye. And now it is time to blend. Okay, so after that concealer, I go in with my Too Faced concealer in the color Toffee, and I also set my under eyes with that concealer. I definitely need to invest in a fan, but always let your concealer sit because that is the best way you're going to get the best application. So for my concealer color, I use my Estee Lauder in the color Rich Java and my Born This Way in the color Sable and I mix them together to give me my perfect concealer shade. The Born This Way really like brightens up my face and the Estee Lauder is just a perfect match for my skin. So I use both of them. Couple 
Okay, also then I spray my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I love the way it feels and I like to spray my face multiple times as I'm doing a makeup look that I want to last all day. And then I push it into my skin as much as I can while simultaneously blending out what I just put on my face. So I realized I told you that I used the LA Girl Concealer in the color fawn first but I did not I'm using that right now I actually used the color corrector earlier um, the true complexion uh, black radiance color concealer <laughs> color corrector and now it is time for eyeshadow I like to go with my morphe uh, neutrals palette and I use the darkest brown on my outer lid um, is also my crease Part of my lid and so I go in with the brown to do that and to really like give it its base I'm doing a really simple eyeshadow look um, just the brown and then I'm going to use one of the sparkly colors but not too much of a sparkle just a slight little shimmer and that I think is a great you know simple wedding eye look it's not about us on this day it is about the bride so giving a simple eyeshadow look I think is a good way to go now it's time to set your under eyes again I use my Laura Mercier powder again and I set under my eyes um, just so it looks very seamless and you can see instantly that my makeup just like looks snatched okay What I then like to do is go with the powder brush and just kind of brush the excess powder off my face so it doesn't just sit there. Contour! So I'm going to go in with my Morphe stick and I'm using one of the darkest shades. I can't even tell you what number it is, but I'm using that stick and I go in on my cheekbones, my forehead, and my nose. I contour my, no my nose just a little bit, mostly just to define things, not really like contour to the gods, you know? I'm not great at that, so I just define it as much as I can, and then I blend it all out. Something that I use from the YouTuber Mena, she takes her sponge or anything, I think she uses her sponge though, and she just does a slight sweep of under the cheekbone to really define that area. And she just does it one or two times. Um, I'm going in a little more because I'm not great with the technique just yet, but I enjoy it. And while that's setting, I am going to do my eyeliner. So now that it's kind of done setting, I blend everything out, the contour that I left on my forehead and also the powder that is on my cheekbones. If you know me, you know that bronzer is my favorite part. You know, makeup, you start to kind of look dull with all the things that you put on your face. So with bronzer, it really brightens the skin back up and it's my favorite absolute thing. I use the Makeup Revolution um, Deep Dark, I believe that's the color. And I use liquid... Like, I think it's a lipstick, honestly. I can't see what it says on it anymore, but I use that um, to give blush to my cheeks and just blend it out.
almost there you guys I go in with my Fenty kilowatt highlighter powder set <laughs> and I go over my the tip of my nose and my cheeks as well to give some shine and now it's time for the eyelashes to set your face again and I don't have one of those fans which I really should invest in one but I'm trying to just you know let it dry a little before I push it into my skin so to give it time to dry I'm just gonna start on my lips I go in with my liquid um, eyeliner or not eyeliner <laughs> lip liner and then I wait for that to dry and while I'm waiting for that to dry then I go back in and push the setting spray into my skin. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I'm obsessed with the color combination of the brown and the nude, so that's what I'm doing today to set it off with that, you know, little movie star wedding look. <laughs> So I'm done with my makeup now and I'm just going to show you a little bit of the get ready with me. Other than this, I didn't show much of my get ready with me, but I'm just doing my wig, um, doing the part to making sure it blends well with my scalp. And then I'm going to show you everything all together with my hair and my dress. Okay, this, can you... Make this way. I'm gonna give you guys an outside look, but this is it. It looks so good. <laughs> this is her hair to the front. I love that blonde. Yeah. I think blonde's like my wedding color. <laughs> this is so nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you again soon.